Alright, what's up YouTube? This is Pete here and welcome back to more Let's Play Phoenix Ride. And in the last episode we found a bunch of new evidence related to the case. But yet we are not sure if we are going to even get a chance to uh, be representing Edgeworth in the court. But hopefully we will get a chance. But something's up in the beach. On the beach. So what is it? What is going on? Huh. Looks like the police have given up their questioning. Hey! And who is this? Santa Claus? Whoa! What's up? I think Santa's mad at you. Right. Long time no see, Nick. Nick? You know Santa? Whoa! Nick and Saint Nick! I see the connection! Ha <laughs> ha! I see what you did there. Don't be redonkulous! Dude, it's me! Oh! Larry! What? What are you doing here? Is it obvious? I'm working my day job. I sell samurai dogs. What I want? Okay. Gotta get money for a date, you know? My girl, Kianse, deserves the best. Huh. Kianse? Not another model, I hope. Oh, Kianse's fine. Fine woman, Nick. Okay, blah blah blah. Okay, costume, she made it, blah blah blah. That's great, Larry. Santa costume, she must be really nice. Yes. Whoa, cute! Who is she? She's not your. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, not my what? No, 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 no. I prefer my gambos, and she doesn't really have anything. Yes, 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 indeed. <laughs> that was uh, just so. I'm his partner. Partner in what? I mean, yes, yes, the little sister of sister of Magambo's sister. Ho oh, ho! I don't look that. I <laughs> really look. <laughs> I don't really like the look on your face right now. She might be tough. Oh, looking nine to five, having to take care of little sister. No, no, not Nick's sister. Older sister of... And my older sister's little sister. Well, that makes sense. Sounds great. Don't worry, Maya. She, he, he's not listening. <laughs> well, I guess we have to talk to him, like we always have to. What happened? Or oh, samurai dogs. Let's start with the irrelevant stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, samurai dogs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Your dogs, you know. Haha, -ha, I see what you did there. Kianse's idea, huh? Okay, blah blah blah. Made me a banner too. She's nice. <sighs> Something seems wrong. Okay. You're getting a ton of customers here on the lake. Okay, of the big news. Big news? Yes, the Gordy, yes, of course. Mm-hmm. Well, let's talk about the Gordy and get this thing over with, yes. Hmm... Okay, it's here in the very lake. A giant mysterious monster, Gordy. Monster? Yeah, check check it out. Okay, article from yesterday. New There's a photo. Huh. It's real? Huh. Ooh. What is this music again? I don't remember, but it's really good. I like this. I like this music. A monster? A real monster? Um, yeah, it's probably just a log or something. Right? Hey, there's a code from the person who took the photo. Who took it? What's this? I set the camera to automatic and when we got into camera frame I heard a loud bang like an explosion followed by a sound of something slipping into the water. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Hmm, there is something fishy. 
about that Gordy. We'll have to see if it has some relation to this case. Who knows? Wink, wink. Anyways, rambling. Uh, could we borrow this article? Sure, no problem. Cool. One million dollars. One million dollars. <laughs> One million gajillion dollars. Yes. Grow up, Larry. Okay, we got it anyways. Didn't have to pay one million. And let's talk about what happens. Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. You work here. You heard anything? You're wasting your time. Yeah, I can't, I'm kind of guessing so. Last night was Christmas Eve. Okay, he was with Kianse. Obviously. Now wash he. Wash he. Wash he war. Anyways, uh, blah blah blah. Oi! <laughs> oh, he wasn't with her. Yes. No, oh, it's just that, that Kianse is not in town right now. Oh, she's with the sugar daddies. Yes. She's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. <laughs> so it is a model again. That's bad news bears for you, Larry. A model? I knew it! Haha! <laughs> Go Phoenix! Well, anyways, there was a murder here on like, uh, the trials tomorrow. Oh, neat! Uh, not really, but, uh, the defendant is Edgeward. Miles Edgeward. Um, Nick? Why would Larry know Edgeward? Well, maybe there's a reason for it. Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that Miles Edgeward? Old Edgy? Yes, it's our Miley boy. He's a murder suspect. Whoa, 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 murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edward Larry? Yeah, of course. And she was in the same class as us in grade school. Us. Dun, dun, dun. What? And let's talk about Edward. So Mr. Edward was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him and I used to hang out all the time. Whoa, I never knew. Huh. Don't get me wrong, he is always being kind of stick in the mud. Okay. Studying all the time and trying to be like a father. <sighs> that was a bad reference. Anyways, uh, yeah, Edge's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Huh. Whoa. Wait, you said defense lawyer? And Edward is in the prosecution. That's interesting career choice. Yeah. Wait a second. Yeah. Yeah, go Maya. You're like one million light years late. Cool. But she understood it as well. Cool. Got a blah 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 blah. Okay. He's a prosecuting attorney. It's like total opposite of a defense lawyer. Defense lawyer. Huh? Go figure. He always used to talk to us about defending the weak, who were unable to defend themselves. And he used to go on and blah blah blah. Do you see somebody? Blah blah blah. What a bore. Okay, so something changed. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Do you know, Nick? Does Phoenix know? Huh? Well, I guess he doesn't really feel like talking about it. So, now that we got this out of the way, um, well, let's look at the boat rental shop real quick. Well, nothing here. So, let's go to the, um... Why is this stupid music still playing on the background? It always usually plays when there are girls or some silly characters. Like Lota, and then the Magambos in Chapter 2. Yes. Whoa, look at the size of those Magambos! Good times. Uh, to the entrance we go. And then we go to the uh, criminal affairs department or to the de 
attention center. Well, let's go check the department first. There's definitely something up here. Or is there? Hmm, not a gumshoe in sight. He's in the questioning room. Okay. Apparently, an important witness turned up. <laughs> How convenient. Lots of hard. It has to be. Uh oh. Well, since there's nothing here, let's go to the detention center. Hopefully, Edgeworth is here. What? He's not here. Uh, well, let's go back to the offices. Oh. What is it? Oh. Nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Hmm. And what's that? Could you show me that other report once more? Hehe. <laughs> Why the fancy look on your face, Maya? Dot 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 dot. <gasps> I remember now. Oh really? This guy. This is a lawyer that was at the office Mia worked at. <gasps> What is this? What a con we how convenient indeed. Is this guy everything like comes back to one place. Everything seems to be connected. Hmm, that's interesting. First Maya first Mia is dead. She was killed and now this guy who worked at the office that she worked at. Huh, interesting. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. Okay. An office? Wait. You mean Grossberg's office? They are lovers! Ho oh ho! <laughs> that was good times as well. The same case. Chapter 2. Anyways, rambling. Right, that guy. That was the last na name I expected to come up. Yes, well. Maybe I should go talk to him for old time's sake. Well, maybe we should. Can we go there? Yes, we can. There's still no painting over here. But let's see what's up. Oh, oh that old family clearing off the road. Oh, you're me or something. Are you not? Yes, the holder of the Magambos is here. Back in the Grossberg's offices. Well, I was her understudy. I understudied the Magambos. It was interesting. Okay, enough with that. Oh God, <laughs> why do I keep doing this? Uh, anyways, uh, you're me something too. Yes, are you not? Her little sister. Yes. You've grown. Yeah, no, my God. Let's not go there. Oh God, horrible, horrible, horrible. Yeah, uh, you come. Yes, yes, yes. It's just like Mia, but no Magambos. I did it again. Oh God, it takes me back. Oh, the days of my youth, like the scent of fresh lemon. You see, um, uh, Mr. Grossberg, sir, home. Oh yes, I beg your pardon. Of course, you came to see discuss something. Yes, yes, something is the matter, and we are going to talk about it. What do we have here? What happened? Let's talk about that painting. Get that out of the way. What happened to the painting? Yes, I do not think I shall ever be coming back home to this office. Okay, I can't exactly claim it's the uh, as stolen. I see. I suppose it's just desserts, old bitter desserts. Mmm, desserts. Okay, well, what happened? There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? Or just got up, you see? Well, Miles Edgeworth shot <laughs> someone with a pistol, apparently. Edgeworth, what? Who? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible, terrible news indeed. Bad news bears. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Well, uh, we could possibly present the um, 
autopsy report, because there was apparently a picture, so... Yes, there is a picture. Hmm, strange, do you know this guy? I feel as I've seen this man somewhere before. Awesome. <gasps> oh dear, do you remember? He was a lawyer, here, in my office. That's Hammond. General Hammond, from the Stargate Command. With a lot more hair, though. Robert Hammond. Cool. Mr. Hammond. Last time we, we had Mr. Hammer. And now Mr. Hammond. Cool. No, cool, cool, cool. Now we know who this, who this guy, is, guy is. And you say this is the man Miles Edward Short? Well, we, I bet we can talk about something now. Yep, Robert Hammond. Let's talk about this. Who is this Hammond guy, anyway? Mr. Hammond, uh... He was a defense attorney in that case. That case? The DL6 incident, ooh. That's interesting. We talked about this in the second case, if I remember correctly. DL6, yeah, why does that sound f so familiar? Yes, exactly for the reason why I just mentioned. Perhaps you remember? I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial of Mia's murder, indeed. It was in that photo, hmm. That was the incident where the police were so at loss they used the spirit medium. <gasps> oh dear. That brings back bad news bears memories, doesn't it? My wait, you don't be Was the meeting my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium Mr. Fay, your mother contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. Well, we are going to talk about this DL6 incident. And then probably call it for the day, let's see. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago, a very strange case indeed. Ooh, epic music, scary music. From the past. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Mr. Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. <gasps> and the police blame my mother calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right Mr. Grossberg? Um, yes, yes. Quite. Hmm, thank you. Thank you. No, please don't mention it. Yeah, you pretty much sold everyone out. And now you're in this... predicament. Hehe. <laughs> oh, how sad. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. Oh, wait. What does the case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeward? So are these cases some cases like somehow related? Hmm, that's interesting. It has everything to do with the mi with Mr. Edgeward, my dear. Oh, the victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeward. Whoa, these are the twists that I was just talking about in the first episode or the first part of this episode or chapter 4 I, I I love this case it's the best it's the best I love it his father <gasps> oh dear if you want to know more you should ask him yourself show him this I'm sure he'll talk to you wait this is a photograph of my mother Ooh. Isn't this the picture that we had earlier? In the second case. Well, that was definitely interesting. And we, since we got this scary music uh, going on in the background, this is a pretty good time for a cliffhanger. So next time when we come back, we are going to talk to Mr. Edgeward and talk about the past, what happened 
and uh, that is definitely going to be really interesting. Because so far Edgebird hasn't been talking, but now he shall. Now he will. Now he will talk. So until the next time, speed is out. Peace.